How's it going everyone, MacBoy here from MacBoy Productions. I would like to welcome you to the part 2 of the Mac OS X Tips and Tricks 2010 video series. Of course, brought to you by MacBoy Productions. And without any further ado, let's continue. So the first tip I want to continue our series off with is with QuickTime. And Apple, of course, allowed us to fast forward our videos. As you can see in the top left corner, it fast forwards by 2, 4, 6, and 8. And a way to fast forward a little more accurately is by holding on the option key while clicking fast forward and watch what happens. Pixels. Amazing. Now, I have using Mac, Mac, metrics and tips, and Mac measures. Now, these, all three, all these three websites are all blogs, and they all explain different tips, tricks, tutorials, everything on the Mac. And you know, these are, the video will fast forward in decimal places, which can come really handy in some cases. This next tip is a fairly short and quick one and it helps you reveal the dock items in your finder. So let's say you want to find an application, something like Rapid Weaver, and you go into your finder, and then you go through your applications, or you can type in a search, Rapid Weaver, and you know, it takes a bit too long. A really, really simple way to find this out is by just holding the command key and clicking on the application in your dock, and it will automatically open up in Finder selected for you. A small but really helpful tip. This next one was given to me by a YouTube user named the Tech Guy 411 Check him out after this video. He told me how easy it is to find a definition for a word right on the spot. You don't have to open dictionary, you don't have to go into your spotlight, it's actually just by hovering your mouse over the word you want to define. Now I've opened a YouTube email in my mail application here, and I'm going to hold down the following modified keys, control and command, and then once I hit D, a small pop-up comes up defining the word. Now I have to say it doesn't work in every application, but for Safari and mail it worked for me perfectly. Once again, control, command, D and it's right there for me. Once you move your mouse away from the word or you let go of the modifier keys, it will disappear. A really cool trick is to be able to autocomplete words. A really cool trick is to be able to autocomplete words in your OS. So say for example, I go into Safari and I go into Google. I'm gonna type in the letter AP and now hit the key F5 on your keyboard. As you can see, this window pops up and it gives you a list of words that start with those two letters. So AP dot and continues. Don't you just hate it when your sibling comes around and messes around with your computer and say it opens up a million finder windows? Now there are probably gonna be more than six windows, but the trick is to be able to close all the windows at one instead of selecting it, then hitting command W, command W, command W. And of course, the simplest way to do it is by hitting command option W, which will close all the windows of the application. And this works with any application on your Mac. So even Safari, if I open up, one, two, three, about four more tabs and I have four windows. I'm just gonna hit Command, Option, W, after clicking on one window, and it's all gone. Keyboard shortcut that I think every Apple user should be aware of is how to make the Apple logo in a text editor. I've got text edit open here, and a lot of people don't know how to do it, so I'm gonna show them right now really quickly. It's just by hitting Option, Shift, K, and the Apple logo is made in any, any text editor. A keyboard shortcut that can be really helpful is to be able to just dim your screen, or in other words, have zero brightness. And this can be done by hitting Control, Shift, Eject. Of course, you can't see it right now, but my screen just went black. And this can help you out in numerous situations. If you have your Mac in your room, if you're downloading or uploading a big file overnight, you, you can just hit those keys and your computer will turn black. But of course, you can always go into your system preferences, go to the energy saver, and of course, and wait that one minute to put your display to sleep. We're just about done here. These are the last two tips of the series, and these will show you how to open links in new tabs or download link files without right clicking and clicking on the links. So we've got a bunch of bookmarks up here, and I'm just gonna hold Command and Mac Magic will open up in a new tab. And this works with any link at all. So click to define a word, again, hold Command and click on it, open up a new tab. Same thing with any page on any browser. Now, if you wanna download a link file, instead of right clicking and clicking save link file to downloads, just, just go ahead and hit option click and it's gonna download automatically. Of course, that is an HTML web page which is not necessary, but if you wanna download an application, you can just go ahead and option click. Just before we go, I wanna answer this question that I've been getting a lot lately of how to get these bins around my stacks in my dock. Of course, it looks really nice and it's really simple to do. I'm gonna put a link in the description to download these icons and all you have to do is simply drag these into the folder you wish to wrap the bin around. So let's go into my documents, take the system icon and drag it right here. Now, click on it and rename it to a hyphen. So make sure it's at the top of the list if you're reading this from alphabetical order. Now if you take your documents folder and drag in your doc, it's gonna look a little something like this. With the bin around it, simple as that. And that concludes our Mac OS X Tips and Tricks 2010 brought to you by MacBoy Productions video series. We hope you learned something and on behalf of MacBoy Productions, I would like to thank you very much for watching.
Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe on these videos and channel. And guys, over there to the right, you'll find the link to my Twitter, my blog, and my business email where you can contact me for any questions, concerns, comments, or suggestions. As well as all the information you need related to this video. Once again, thanks a lot for watching. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see every single one of you next time right here on Mac Boy Productions. Peace.